What's going on, YouTube Team G Sale back with another pickup video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, just want to say I'm overwhelmed with the support that I've been getting. While I haven't been getting as many subscribers as I kind of hoped, my uh, video on my game room is almost at a thousand views, which is just awesome. So share this channel, guys. If you watched the last video, I released the images of three games that I'm going to be giving away once I hit 300 subscribers, which is about 50 away. And uh, so in order to get there, share this channel with everyone. Hit the subscribe button if you're a new person who's just tuning in in order to kind of find out what I've been picking up for my collection, but in addition, also to get yourself a chance to win some free games. Um, smash the like button if you haven't done so, and comment below with anything you want to say about anything at all, whether it's about video games, board games, collecting, anything that I happen to have here. That would be awesome. Today is about a week and a half, two weeks, I'd say about two weeks of collection pickups, and we're going to jump right on into it with non-video game pickups. Uh, we're going to start with board games today. I did get a few. Uh, the first one here is Don't Break the Ice. And this one there was $3.99. See it there? At Goodwill Store. Uh, this is a really fun game. Uh, we had a copy, but it broke. Unfortunately, because this game, you're whacking things with a rubber mallet or a plastic mallet, they break really easily. So I'm happy to get this one back because the kids love this game and it's really fun to play. Uh, got this one recently. It was a dollar ninety nine at Value Village, and this is Travel Battleship. Now I have quite a few travel games, but not this one. So really excited to add that one to the collection. Got this one at a garage sale this week. Seventy five cents is the price tag right there, and this is a Milton Bradley game called Play on Words. Um, I don't know. It was seventy five cents. It's small, which means it won't take up much room in my storage kind of happy to get it. Got this one today for $2.99 at Value Village, right there. This is another Milton Bradley game called Zero Zap. Now please tell me this does not look 90s to you, this title and, and just the artwork on the front. <laughs> it's a card game, we'll add it to the collection. Got this one of all about two weeks ago now at Value Village, $3.99. I've owned this game multiple times, and almost always I find it at Value Village. And this is the Dungeons and Dragons Dun Dungeons and Dragons starter set. It's 100% complete, and uh, they're usually an easy 20 to 30 bucks to sell. Lastly, for board games, Neil found this one for me. Uh, Value Village. He got it for $3.99. And I actually owned this game before, but I traded it, so now I have it back. It's a game called Acrobat. I'm sorry, that was very loud. There's a lot of pieces. That's a, it's a really fun game. There's sort of a, you're trying to hang, it's almost like a barrel of monkeys where you're trying to hang bats onto a thing. So, eh, add it to the collection. Books this week, there were a few. Got this one at a garage sale today. Actually, the woman said free, but I gave her a quarter. It's a Donkey Kong Strikes Again activity book from 1982 by Nintendo. This is really cool, actually. Unfortunately, one page is done. The rest of them are not. Got some Garfield books. Neil got these for me, a dollar each at Value Village. Garfield in Disguise is the first one. I do not I do not own this one. So I'm going to add it to, to the collection. Garfield takes up space. Another one I don't own. Love these Garfield comic books. As you guys know, I collect them. And lastly, Garfield's Food for Thought. So thank you, Neil. Three more books added to the collection. Uh, I got all of these four at a garage sale. Uh, there's a town nearby here that had a town garage sale. Rather small, but I did find a couple interesting things. These were in there. These are actually vintage uh, A.A. Milne um, Winnie the Pooh books. So the first one is When We Were Young. She was asking a quarter each, so these are totally fair. They don't hold a lot of value. I thought they were actually worth a bit more, but um, I'll keep them for the kids. Winnie the Pooh. Not a first edition, because if it was, it'd be worth a lot more, but it's actually an early edition, 1950s, I believe. Uh, now we are six, and these are all the Pooh variants. And uh, the house at Pooh Corner. If you're watching this and you're not from Winnipeg, I am from Winnipeg, and Winnipeg is where Winnie the Pooh got his name from. Um, Harry Colburn was the sergeant who found a stray bear, took him to England uh, when he went to war, left him in England, and he became the inspiration for Winnie the Pooh. Uh, all of these, there's a, the history lesson of the day. Uh, these were all at a garage sale in that small town. They were 10 cents each, and they're all Simpsons comics. So we have uh, Simpsons here. Um, you know, I kind of thought these had some value too, but they didn't. 
Uh, these are radioactive man. But I mean, for 10 cents a pop, I could you know, maybe sell them for a buck or two each. Um, I don't collect comics, as you guys probably know. Bartman. Go through these quickly. Uh, this one's just a Simpsons comic. Sorry, I'm out of frame here today. Here we go. Uh, another Simpsons comic. The rest of these look kind of the same. Titles. I'm not sure how many they made or don't know much about this series. Um, another one. But again, I mean, like I said, 10 cents a piece. I'm not going to turn it down. And Itchy and Scratchy. Awesome there. Uh, speaking of Simpsons, I uh, got this one. We had a, a charity garage sale here in town for a canine rescue. There was a, uh, about a hundred tables. No video games. I, I couldn't even believe it. I walked around for like half an hour. I'm like, there's no video games at a hundred tables. But I grabbed a couple things. So this was uh, 50 cents. It's the Ultimate Simpsons book. Actually kind of cool. It's got like a bunch of books in one. So for a dollar, for 50 cents, I'll grab it. And uh, my uh, my friend Chris met up with him last week and he gave me this uh, Far Side book that he had gotten. So that was free from Chris. Thank you, Chris. And lastly, at that charity, for non-video game, at that charity garage sale, the one thing I did pick up that was kind of cool was for $10, they had this bag of vintage Ninja Turtles. And I'm not gonna go through them all. There is tons of them in here. And unfortunately, no accessories, like they're all missing their weapons. But for 10 bucks, I mean, I'm not gonna turn it down. And then, lo and behold, they had another one for five bucks with all the with some vehicles and more figures. So, great deal in here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell or trade these to collect Ninja Turtle toys. But either way, it was really cool, and there is some value there. I have a friend who's interested. We're probably going to try to make a trade for some video games. All right, guys, that's it for non-video game pickups this week. Let's just jump right into video game pickups, and there's a few this week. Um, first up, I was at that uh, town garage sale. One of the women says, uh, oh, my son has video games, but he's not here. Give me your number, and I'll get him to call you. You know, whenever that happens, if you're anyone like me who garage sells, you know that that rarely ever happens. But he called, and he had some PS4 games, which I wasn't interested in. He goes, well, I got some PS4 controllers, and I would do five bucks a pop. So I got two uh, PS4 controllers for five bucks each. Now, I don't own a PS4, so I'm just going to sell these, but these definitely have some value. Um, even in trade-in, I called uh, our local game store, and they were giving $28 in trade. And... That's good right there, considering I got those for five bucks a pop. Um, got this one at a garage sale. Uh, actually, it was my friend Mike's garage sale. He had this priced at $10, but I offered him five and he took it. So this is Bassmasters 2000 for the N64. Nothing fancy, but again, $5 I'll add into the collection. Um, got these two on trade at our local video game store. I brought in um, those three games from my last video, Animal Crossing which they gave me, I believe it was $24 in trade credit, Donkey Kong Country, which they gave me $14 in trade credit, and I brought in Wii Party, which they gave me $18 in trade credit, and with that, I got these two games, Samurai Showdown for the Super Nintendo, one of the final ones off my list, and The Wizard of Oz for the Super Nintendo, a terrible game that is also going to be off my list. Um, got this at Value Village this week. It was $2.99. I opened it up just to see if it works. And this is a, uh, it's called Brick Game 990, I can take it out now, 999.1. It's a Tetris clone, um, essentially, but, you know, for three bucks, I'll grab it. Um, okay, so... Got this one at Value Village, $5.99, $2 off with one of my coupons. So this was $3.99, and this is Decathlon for the Atari 2600. I got a lot of Atari games this week. We'll see them in a second. Uh, got these two at Value Village. Um, this one was $5.99, $2 off. So this was $3.09, and it's Star Wars Battlefront 2, complete in the case. And this one, unfortunately, I couldn't use my coupon. But for $3.99, I got Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, which I'm just going to give to my buddy Chris because he wants the skateboarding games, and I don't. Um, okay. Um, went to... There was a guy on, on Kijiji, and he posted a copy of Custer's Revenge for the Atari 2600, which is a very uncommon game. 
and he had it at $80 or best offer. I offered him $60, he said okay. When I went down to his house though, I noticed right away the game was 100% fake. The cartridge was fake, it looked like it was patched together, the label had been printed and cut out really badly. So I told him like I just it didn't look right and I wasn't going to buy it. But he had these other games and he did three dollars a piece. And these ones were legit games. The first one is Arcade Pinball. These are all Sears Tele games. Uh, the next one was uh, Brain Games for three bucks a pop. You know what? I'll add them to my Atari collection. Uh, Blackjack. And lastly, Codebreaker. I didn't get Custer's Revenge, but I got these ones here. Uh, my friend Mike came over to do some work in my house, and he actually uh, gave me these two games for free. One of them I didn't own, and it's Lost Luggage. And the next one was California Games. Um, okay, almost done here. These, I went to uh, Broadway Pond, and they do five for 20, so I got these games essentially worked out to about 350 each. So I got Cosmic Creeps, another Atari 2600 game. I got Freestyle Street Soccer for the original Xbox. I got NBA Inside Drive 2002 for the original Xbox. And uh, I got Pirates, The Legend of the Black Cat for the PS2. Sorry, I should repeat that. It was I got six for 20, not five. Uh, Backyard Football 2010 for the Wii. Wow, they actually had a Wii game I needed. And holy man, they had two Wii games I needed. I got Monster High 13 Wishes, so two Wii games in the wild off my collection list. Thank you, Broadway Pond. Lastly, I made some eBay sales over the last week, and I uh, got these four games for the Wii all free because they were all profits from my eBay sales. I got Sleepover Party. Yeah, this one looks awesome. I'll play it with the girlfriends when they come over. Reader Rabbit Preschool. This one's actually uncommon. Thankfully, I got a good deal on it. Now I'm down to two Reader Rabbit games I need. Hooked Again, Real Motion Fishing. There's a game called Hooked, and then there's Hooked Again. This one's a little more uncommon. And lastly, one that's becoming more uncommon, it looks like a JRPG, although I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, is Phantom Brave for the Wii. Now the last pickup, guys, is right over here, and this is a Wii Starlight Kiosk. I got this from my buddy Chris. He knew a guy who uh, had it sitting in storage, uh, was able to give it to me for $100, although Chris and I worked out some trades, so essentially I got this for about 50 bucks. It was really awesome. It is missing the Wii that goes with it, but it has all the other attachments. I haven't hooked it up yet, and I, all I've done is cleaned it up and brought it in here. Essentially what this was, guys, is Starlight had a contract with hospitals all around, um, maybe the States too, I don't know, but Canada for sure, to bring these into the hospitals and move them it's on wheels move them from room to room so that kids can play uh we inside the hospital while they're staying um it's in really good condition but again i haven't tested it yet but it is an awesome pickup in terms of value i have no idea there's not any ebay soul listings on these and i only know one other person in north america who has one if you do have one or you know information about no more information please comment below otherwise guys that's all my pickups for this week thanks for tuning in again please hit that subscribe button smash the like button and again comment below if you have anything um have an awesome week and we'll talk to you soon bye now